Damn. Wow, this is just a sad story. Oh, God, especially any of y'all animal lovers out there, particularly any dog lovers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, you know, I, stuff is so crazy that I can't believe what I just saw. Um, this is one of the most horrific stories that, um, damn, I've seen in a long time concerning animals. I mean, it's, um, it's not. It's not common, and it's not something that you hear about every day, a swarm of bees attacking and killing um, dogs. I mean, and so the story was so sad. I was like, these dogs were at home. It wasn't even like it was just a wild environment. The dogs were like on a patio, and there was maybe four dogs outside. And this swarm of bees, of course, swarm down on them and are killing at least two of them. I mean, and it is the most hideous thing that you've ever seen. So when somebody say bees are harm, I mean, come on. How harmful can it be? It was a bee? Oh, my God. Well, bees can do an enormous amount of damage. An enormous amount of damage. And this story uh, reiterates that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and like I said, that that is that is just too much. Way too much. So be careful, you guys. Watch your pets. Watch your animals. Man, that's a okay, y'all. Let me get to the gist of this story because I think a lot of y'all gonna find this utterly disturbing, and you should. And um, this is why I say, you know, what we deal with over here in so many levels is just not um, normal, and that's why when you talk about the continent. People say, why the food tastes different? Why does it, it just don't even taste the same that it does in America? It sure don't. The food is different. That's why the bodies look different. Um, Because of stuff like this. Legal, but, I mean, lethal, but legal bacteria on chicken. This is by Jenna Sachs. Okay, you guys? If you're most, like most people, chances you've got some chicken in your fridge or your refrigerator. So, you might be surprised to learn that it's perfectly legal for poultry processors to knowingly sell chicken that is contaminated with potentially deadly bacteria. A new consumer report investigation reveals how lethal But legal germs can end up in our food supply and what you need to do to keep your dinner table safe. Bacteria like Salmonella and Campylobacter are often in raw or uncooked chicken and turkey. And they are among the two of the leading causes of bacteria foodborne illnesses in people. They kill about mm, 450 people each year. And make nearly 1.5 million people sick. With 28,000 of these people ending up in the dang gone hospital. Do y'all hear me? And y'all love some chicken. Woo! You know we love us some chicken, y'all. But I I must admit, I, I put the chicken away for a while. But... And what's even more alarming is that the poultry processors can legally distribute their products even if they know it may contain harmful bacteria. Y'all hear this? In fact, the USDA allows 9.8% of whole chickens to be tested and it can be contaminated with salmonella. That's not, that, that those numbers and is okay for them. And when you look at chicken parts and ground chicken, the percentages are even higher. 
The agency says um, it sets those standards based on the risk assessment process that estimates the salmonella and campylobacter percentages need to meet national public health goals. National Chicken Council, a trade group, says about 90% of the chicken processing plants are meeting and exceeding present, present USDA standards for salmonella on whole chickens and chicken parts. But consumer reports on other safety advocates say it's still not enough and that the USDA should strive for zero tolerance policy. So how can you make sure your family's chicken is not does not make anyone sick? Well, use the accurate meat thermometer to make sure your uh, poultry is thoroughly cooked to an internal temperature of about 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Consumer reports also recommend always thawing your poultry in the fridge and never wash your poultry in a sink because that could spread bacteria in your kitchen. Um, I hope that's a word to the wives um, because just to know that it's perfectly legal um, to sell us stuff that is um, uh, full of bacteria and disease. Uh, but if you want that chicken bad enough, you'll get it. And you better cook it through and through. Or um, <laughs> it's going to be one of them. It's going to be some sweet singing and some flower bringing. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm-hmm.